Hey, if art is a crime, then just... Oh, damn it. Okay, think, Delson, think. Ah, party at the Longhouse. Just gotta get there, mingle, establish an alibi. I'm a goddamn criminal mastermind. out there it's just me Betty Delson. would you put the stapler down seriously what are you doing here why aren't you at the big to do at the longhouse oh uh, uh yeah I just didn't feel all that accomplished tonight but you look amazing it looks great on you seriously what were you doing up on the roof hmm nothing just were you up to mischief Come on, I know you're in there, so just come on out, or I'll call Betty and she'll be here in five minutes with the key. <laughs> you're up to mischief. Okay, well, come on, seriously, what are you gonna do here? Uh, uh, well, I have no choice. He's a cop. I have to be back here in five minutes, and if you're still here... <laughs> Thanks, Betty. This is the last, last time. time. Now I have to go back to my office. Apparently, I'm getting a phone call. I can't believe he doesn't have anything better to do. Hello, freedom. And now the easy part. Get to the longhouse, set up an alibi. Shoot! 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 Get out of here! That was close. Don't look down! Don't look down! Don't look down! And the plan is working perfectly.
Hey, man. I've been looking, like, forever for you. We should probably just get inside. Do you have any idea how embarrassing it is for me to keep arresting my own brother over and over and over again? Maybe you should stop arresting your brother over and over and over again. You think this again. is a joke? No, I is don't. Is this how you want to leave your mark on the world, huh? You think this would make our parents proud? Misdemeanor vandalism? Listen, man, there's a lot of scary shit in the world. And while I'm out there actually trying to assert my talent... You're trying and to cause... assert your talent? I mean, what the Why hell are you always even do talking this, about? You won't no, just let me be who me. I am. Tell me what big, bad, if scary you listen, shit you're going to Sarah's from. Really? You. Because I don't seem to Reggie. get it. What? Truck. I'm going after those two. You stay back. That thing's gonna blow. Stay away from the exploding thing. Got it. Holy shit, dude. Oh, thanks, man. I thought I was gonna die. Hey, you all right? Let him go! Just let him go and keep your hands where I can see him. I don't want to hurt nobody. I just want to get going before she gets here. I said let him go or I will shoot you. Fred? I said I don't want to hurt nobody. Reg? What's going on? I gotta find Reggie. What the hell was that? I... What the hell? What is happening to me? Oh my God, no! Stop it, stop it, stop it! What's going on? Oh my god. Oh my god. Make it stop! Reg! Reg, I really need you! No. I gotta get through here. What is going on? Reggie! I can't stop it, man. I can't stop it. Reggie, I can't okay. stop it's it, okay. man. It's okay. You're okay. Just breathe. Breathe. You're right. You're right. I'm one of them, man. I'm no. one of them. No. No. You are my brother. All right? You are my brother. Okay. This thing with you is gonna pass. I promise. We'll fix it. All right? You with me? You with me? Okay. 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 Get out there. There is a bot here, so we gotta stop him before he gets to the rest of the tribe. All right? Okay. I need you. I need you right now. Okay. All right? Okay. Come on. Yeah. You good? Yeah. Let's go. Just promise me you won't use any of those tricks, okay? I wouldn't have been able to even get to you back there if I hadn't... Just promise me you won't do that. Hey, hey, just, I don't want you to think what's happened is, is a good thing, okay? Because it's not. Sheriff, we can't get in! 
The button's jammed! I think Betty's still inside. Jeez, man, the latch is melted. Locked. How the hell did he get through? I think he ran through. You can do that? There's only one way to find out. Nelson's a bioterrorist, too. Wait, he's not... Vents. Good to know. Not good. Wow, that should have hurt. Betty, where are you, Betty? <laughs> I'm gonna spoil the surprise. Almost there, Betty! You gotta get out of here, lady! Stay away from I'm me! I'm trying to help Don't you, lady! Stay away from me! Stop! Stop. Delton! I was just trying to create a diversion. I didn't know anybody was in you here. You did this to me! You're a conduit? Uh. Betty, I'll explain later, but you gotta get out of here now. Good, I'm gone. Not until you fix this first! I spend most of my life behind bars. It's easy enough to bust out. You just gotta wait for that golden opportunity. When I got my powers, hell, I was unstoppable. Until the DUP caught up with me. Yeah, they got a special hole they like to toss folks like me in. Figured out a way to bind us all up so we couldn't use our powers. That also meant they had to feed us, wash us, even wipe our goddamn asses. That's no way for a man to live. There's no way. They had this red-headed bitch there, really into needles and scalpels. She called what she did to me tests. But if you do enough time, you can learn a few tricks. You just gotta be patient. Sooner or later, they'll screw up. They always do. You maybe see something or you hear something, learn things you weren't supposed to know. So when that bitch put the three of us in that wagon, I knew what was coming. A golden opportunity. <laughs> I saw you poking around inside my head. It was me, I thought that was you. You saw it, right? That DUP prison. If she catches you, that's where you're going. Wait, wait, wait! I'm warning you, kid. Back off! You're not going anywhere until you fix this! Listen! I don't know what happened. But you better be ready to disappear. Why? You're a conduit now, kid. A bioterrorist. Welcome to the world of Run For Your Life. And that's what I aim to do. Even if I gotta go through you. Not going anywhere until you fix this. This ain't something that can be fixed. Then at least show me how to control it. Ain't got time. The DUP's coming. And she knows I'm on to her plan. This fire's only gonna buy two, three minutes diversion tops. I gotta get now. Ain't going back to Curtin K. Yeah, well, 
Whoever's coming is coming for you, man, not me. You've been seen, son. Folks here know about you. She's got a way of making people talk. Good luck, kid. Oh, hell no. No way I'm gonna die in a fish guttery. Listen, just let me go. Just let me walk away. Nobody's ever got to know about any of this. Wait a minute. Stop it. Talk about this. Oh, Henry. I am so very disappointed in you. Well, we got him, right? I, uh, flushed that mean old conduit for you. Good job, everybody. Especially you, guys. Bio terrorist. Henry Daughtry. I was a bioterrorist. Conduit. It was a word used by traitors who sympathize with their cause. You're not a traitor. Are you? I, uh... I, I try not to be. <laughs> you seem nervous. No, I'm not nervous. <laughs> it's been my experience. There are only two reasons for people to be nervous. Either they're cowards... Or they have something to hide. Well, you know, I also get nervous around pretty girls. You were in there with that bioterrorist for some time. Did he share anything with you? Um, share... Did he say anything to you? Share any of his ramblings about conspiracies? Oh, um... No, he didn't... he didn't share anything. Good. That's good to hear. You see, we are engaged in a life-and-death war with these bioterrorists, and it's my job to do... whatever it takes to ensure that we win that war. What? Well, it's kind of funny because... <laughs> Aren't you a bioterrorist too? Okay, okay, okay. Yes, I am. Sometimes you have to fight fire with fire. And it's clear now that you're not a coward, which means there's something that you're not telling me. Oh, what, are you, what are you doing? You can't do this, you crazy! I've got rights! And I have the legal authority to suspend those rights whenever I feel it's necessary. Like now, for instance, I'll ask again what happened in there. And I will tell you again. I'm told that hurts. Maybe I know what happened in there! No! Betty, don't! So. Really? Still nothing. Well, unless you decide that you do have something to tell me, I'll go chat with that nice old lady. But you should know, concrete is especially hard on brittle bones. And if she doesn't talk, I'll just move on to the next one, and the next, until I find someone who does. So do you have something you want to tell me? Or do you prefer that I move on to your friends here? What? I said... I'm a conduit, all right? I caught it a second ago from... from that guy. Oh, you caught it. Very funny. Ah! God! Tell him. Ah! So, Betty... Maybe you can give me a straight answer. Yeah, I'm told that hurts. Wake up!
what's going on here. Turn the log house into a hospital? How long have I been out? Did anyone do this? How many people did she hurt? And no one could stop her? Oh my god. Betty. Dawson, dear. You're awake. So did Augustine do this to you? Yeah. How did you think I was gonna... Rat you out to that ornery trot. Besides, at the time, it seemed like all the cool kids were getting their legs pierced. So that means everyone here... We're a comish. We protect our own. No one here blames you for what happened. Yeah. Neither should you. Can't be ashamed for what you are. Can't help it. We were born that way. All that matters is I'm one of them now. You are not one of those beady-eyed bioterrorists who go around killing people higgly piggly. You're a good boy. Just happen to have smoke coming out of your fingers. That's the whole reason why we're in this is smoke coming out of my fingers. Hey. Don't go down that road. If you're gonna be such a buzzkill, I'm gonna have to go back to sleep because I need my rest so that I can get better and get on my feet again. And I can rest now because you're awake. You know, don't you worry. I'm gonna be fine. Really? Mm-hmm. Just sit. Delson! Whoa. <laughs> Damn it, I thought we were gonna lose you there. A little concrete in the legs? It's gonna take more than that. No. Glad to see fast healing seems to be a part of your new, uh, thing. Uh, speaking of which, uh, the craziness with the hands, is that gone? Yeah, I don't know, man. There's no smoking in the longhouse, remember? <laughs> right. And I wouldn't want to get in the way of anyone's recovery. Recovery? Delson, these, these people aren't getting any better. They're dying, man. You don't know that. No, but the doctors who came through here when you were out, they do. And they said that... They said the only way those shards are coming out is the exact same way they went in. What? But that, that was Augustine and her concrete power. Screw it, man. Looks like you and me are going to Seattle and we're gonna go get her. Whoa, 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 wait. What? You think you're just gonna charm her into coming back here with you? Come on, man. I know you took a bump to the head, but you two didn't exactly hit it off last time you were together. Reggie. I did this. And I gotta fix it. No, damn it, Dustin. You just got back on your feet. I know you want to help, but the doctors have already said the only, the only way it's getting out is with the same power. I get it. Which means we don't actually need Augustine. We just need her power. <laughs> okay, now you've lost me. I'm a goddamn power sponge, remember? If I got smoke, why can't I get concrete? <laughs> yeah, but what, what if smoke was just a fluke, huh? 
But think about it. You'd have to go through, a, what, a thousand DUP guys just to get to her? Yeah, probably something like that. I'll explain in the truck. What truck? I don't have a truck. I... That's oh, my truck. All right, I got this whole thing figured out, okay? We, we hit the town, we load up at the all-you-can-leech condo at Power Buffet, we maybe swing by the Space Needle, always wanted to see it, and then we're back home to save some lives. You do realize when we hit the town, there's a fair chance the town's gonna, you know, hit back? What does that even mean? It means that Seattle has half a million people that aren't exactly thrilled about the bioterrorists that are already there. You think they're gonna welcome you? No, but I'm gonna be different, okay? Oh, I'm okay. not there doing what they do. I'm there to save lives. I'm gonna be like Superman. I'll be yeah. healing the sick. The hero. What, you think they're gonna throw you a parade? Wake up, man. Look, don't worry, Dale, all right? We're gonna fix this thing. I'm gonna find you a cure. A cure? Shooting smoke out of your fingertips isn't exactly normal, man. Just because it's not normal doesn't mean that it needs a cure, okay? Van Gogh wasn't normal. Gandhi wasn't normal. Yeah, but people weren't scared of Gandhi, all right? People are afraid of bioterrorists. They're freaks. See, that's pre-programmed bull... Whoa, whoa. Shit. Great. Huh. Well... Looks like we're walking the rest of the way. <laughs> Walk? What? Yeah. Where are you going? Hey! Damn it. Holy crap, would you look at this. Uh, look, you know, if you're having second thoughts, I completely... Are you kidding me? This is amazing! What? This is destruction. This is self-defense, man. The roadblock was set up to attack them. Yeah, because they're bioterrorists. Well, it didn't stop them, and it's not gonna stop this bad boy either. Man, this is like a post-apocalyptic... Oh, this must be the mothership. Jesus, Delson! Hey, are you okay? Okay. I'm better than okay, man. I think I picked up a new trick. Yep. New. <laughs> oh, God. yeah. Definitely new and improved. Delson, this is not improved, man. We're trying to fix the problems you already have, not add new ones. What do you think? Augustine is just sitting on her ass? I gotta power up if I'm gonna go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Concrete Queen. Hey, I'm hoping to avoid that. Listen, there might be another way that we can get to Augustine. What other way? I, what other I way? I have a few connections in Seattle. All right, some in the police force. No, if no, we no, get no, no, no. This is not the point where Reggie swoops in and makes everything all right. Well, this is not your problem to fix. It is mine. Oh, is somebody there? Can you hear me? There. Perfect. You want to go help somebody? Go save damsel in distress. Anyone? It's not... Please? All right, fine. We both go. Come oh, on. no, 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 no. You I go need... play super cop, okay? I will catch up with you in a minute. All right, but don't go anywhere. And for God's sake, don't touch anything! I'm gonna touch everything. Hello. You're up first, little guy. Okay, yeah, that could definitely be habit forming. They're kind of cute. Why are we still using that? Huh. Maybe I just need to refill the smoke tank. Good to go. Yeah, this should do the trick.
once we hit the city, I'm gonna have to keep an eye out for more of those things. Hey, Delson, I need you up here. Dude, you will not believe what that beeping was. Let's get up I here, okay? I found a bus full of relief workers that stuck. Trying to convince them to just abandon the bus, but they don't want to leave all the medical supplies on top. Well, just tell them to hold on. I'll get the bus unstuck. Nelson, I know what you're thinking, and don't. Dude, I just took out a fleet of quadcopters. I think I can dig out a bus. <sighs> this is going to take forever. There's got to be a faster way. I am unstoppable! Delson, I told you not to- I'm sorry, Rich. Can't hear you over the sound of my heroics. Ah, lost you. Has to hit the mute button. Okay, looks like the rest of the way is clear. I'm gonna ride this baby straight into Seattle. Delson, we got a problem. Some of the people on the bus, they saw you doing your super thingy to clear the way. And? And they're afraid of you. What? Look, I told you, man. Bioterrorists aren't especially popular. So what, am I like Rosa Parks and they want me to sit on the back of the bus? No, they want you to sit outside the bus. Look, they don't want you in here, right? They said if you come on, they're gonna get off. Then let them walk. I don't care. You think I can't take this door down? You are not gonna do that. These people have never seen anything like you before, and they're scared, right? And I can't blame them. He says he's gonna break down the door. Go, sir. Just give me a second. Look, just let me run them across the bridge. I'll come right back for you. All right? It'll take five minutes. Come on, man. I can't let you on the bus. Five minutes. tracking on your phone in case we get separated oh you mean like right now attention the scheduled decommission of the 520 bridge by order of the DUP, will begin shortly. All vehicles and individuals are ordered to... Yeah, sounds like useful information. Nelson, I got the aid workers across the DUP. Clearing the bridge. Coming back for you, so... Is you there? What's going on? Hello? Hey! Hey! You guys need any help? Terrorists. Hey, it's one of those it's freaks! It's okay. Whoa! No, 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 no! <laughs> oh, this fast healing stuff is gonna come in real handy. Hey, 
Look, man, I just want to get through the tunnel. See? We're not all monsters. Spread the word. just happened? <laughs> Reggie? Oh, man. Answer me! Oh. My. God. This was a bridge? Come on, core relay, work your magic. For the shot. Okay, Cosmos, keep them coming. <laughs> okay, okay, easy. Reggie? Dalson, what's this I hear about you and your brother taking off for Seattle? It's really not a good time, Betty. Okay, you just be careful. And have fun. <laughs> okay, I will. Bye. Devil Bridge?
the bus. Reggie! Reggie! That uh, pitching are we huh? Delson! All right, all right, all right, come on. I got it. Thanks for the hand. Huh. Check it out. Wow. You seem to be getting the hang of your uh, new symptoms, right? <laughs> of course, the only downside being that. Uh... Nope. Can't think of anything. This is pretty freaking awesome. <laughs> really? No downside? How about those heavily armed guys over there now want to hurt you real bad? That a downside? Yeah. Now look, for all we know, we may be able to pass you through their security, you know, because you're not a normal viral terrorist. So normal? You know. No, no, if you mean by normal, you know, the sheep that they try to line up so that they can probe them. No, Reggie, I'm not normal. And did you see what I did on that bridge? We can take these Look, guys. Let's just see if we can sneak you through their checkpoints first, all right? It'll make getting around the city a lot easier. Okay, fine, fine. Do it your way. I'll settle. Listen, promise me you'll play it cool up ahead. Hey, they used to call me Mr. Cool. No one has ever once called you that. Ever. Are you really worried about this? Look, these DUP guys may not have the same level of power that you, that natural vile terrorists have, but the government infused them all with enough to still do some serious damage. Well, you have just officially ruined my Seattle vacation. How long did you say I was out for? One week. Wow. That means the DUP put all of this up to. Yep. Oh, they've kept busy. Once we're through, I'll check with a couple of my cop buddies and try and get access to the police databases. In the meantime, I need you to just lay low. It might spook them if I show up with a bioterrorist. Okay, boss man. This is a registered firearm. I'm a police officer. Of course. Jeez, won't let me on his bus, won't let me meet his friends. Up on the towers! I see him! Remember, the civilians are innocent! Not good to keep things bottled up.
rooms here. Nelson, we got separated. Are you okay? Me? I'm fine. Dandy. Uh, just like you said, laying low. Just keep laying low. I'll call when I've got some. I come in peace. Slice off their ears. All right, I've got you on my GPS. It's not far from one of their mobile command centers. If you can shut that down, it'll limit their ability to track your movements. Mobile command center, got it. So, what exactly does one of those look like? Well, it, it should be a large, heavily armored mobile unit with its side ports and major communication gear on top. All right, I think I see it. A uh, badass RV with lights and metal crap on top. Okay, great. There should be vent panels along the sides. Now, if you blow out enough of those, the core should overheat and be exposed. Okay, blow out the panels. Got it. center and destroy it. Should make things a little easier. Man, that feels good. You find the main power core? It should be on top.
must be back up. I think I prefer the smaller guys. They are really stepping up their game. Definitely prefer the smaller guys. That's you, big fella. No time to check, man. I got dupes coming at me from every direction. Get the hell out of there. Yeah, great advice. All right, Reg, I hate to ask, but any of your besties in blue know anything about these core relays? set up all over town. Seattle PD's been keeping an eye on them since the DUP won't tell them what they do. But you can find out where they all are. Sure. Like I said. Good. I need you to send the locations to my phone. What? So you can keep tapping them for more powers? No. Forget it. Wow. My own brother wants me to fight the ultra-mega bioterrorist of all time with less powers. Look, I didn't say that. Well, I guess I shouldn't put it off then. Better go straight on to Augustine now and... Get it over with. Not sure what's gonna happen. All right, all right, I get it. Look, just stay away from Augustine and I'll send you the ones I know of. Thanks, Reg, you're the best brother ever. <laughs> no, the best brother ever would have locked you in a closet back in Salmon Bay for the rest of your life. Wow, not sure a closet can hold a conduit for long, but I appreciate your wanting to lock me up. Reg, you should see this, man. The DUP's completely trashed this city. All the people are walking hunched over and nervous looking. Yeah, well, that's how martial law works. You control the city and the people by breaking them both down first. Yeah, well, occupying armies suck. 
may want to keep that to yourself for now. Ah, yeah! Hey, Reg, those uh, core relays we saw on the way here must have been cracked by all that destruction. This one's sealed up pretty tight. I doubt the DUP is going to let you borrow their keys. You're probably going to have to break them open. Oh, look, I just happen to have some mad new breaking skills. Short and sweet. Hey, Moshe. Moshe. What's up? Oh, this is gonna be awesome. Look out below! I never played the first part, by the way. Not bad, huh? Hey, you wanna see it again? Oh, hell yeah! Jesus, man, how many DUP guys are in this city? Oh well, luckily you have the advantage in numbers, my man. Uh, how do you figure that? Well, because one person can move around faster, lighter, quieter. Plus, it'll make them underestimate you. Not gonna know what hit them. You wanna do me a favor and explain that to them, so maybe they'll just give up? Why? Spoil the surprise when it happened. <laughs> Good point. Checkpoints and cameras on just about every corner. That's the benefit of having home field advantage. Except this isn't their home field. Try telling them that. Okay, so that way is not an option. This better work.
gotta tell you, man, I think at the rate I'm going with the powers thing, I'm like one, maybe two away from storming her castle. Okay, why don't we slow down there, hotshot? I mean, she just destroyed an entire concrete and steel bridge, you remember? Right, so you're thinking one more's not gonna do it. That's what I'm thinking. Reg, man, you should see this place. It's completely deserted. No ferries going in or out, or... Same thing at the airport and the train station. Now that they got the bridge out, the DUP's got this town sealed tight. This is not gonna be easy, is it? Yeah, it's too bad I didn't think to mention that to you over and over during the last ten hours. I think the DUP does this to every town they get called to? Apparently, that's what they say. Why would people even put up with that? Because when it comes down to it, most folks aren't willing to trade life for liberty or the pursuit of happiness. Nah, that can't be it. You know, secondhand smoke is bad for you. Reggie, I've used up all the core relays you sent, man. Come on, any more? No, man, that's all you get. This bioterrorist thing has you all worked up. You, you need to find some place to lay low and chill out for a while. What is it with you and laying low? I'm fine. I'm great. Give me more. No. Now, I'm working on a possible lead with a detective on the SPD, but we're not moving forward until I'm convinced your head's on straight. Okay, okay, I'll lay low. Whatever the hell that means. Okay, Delson, I've got some information on the DUP's communications network. There's a central antenna so they can coordinate the movements of all the smaller districts. All right, any idea where this central communication thing is? Well, you did say you wanted to see it while you were here. Shut up, Space Needle? Space Needle. Thank you. 
Okay, Reg, I'm here, and you were right. The needle's tricked out with all kinds of electrical crap and what looks like a bad aluminum siding job. You're gonna have to get to the top of the needle. It's well, a nice day. I'll just climb to the top. Climb. No, no, no. Don't be crazy. Right, hey, man, it's not crazy to be awesome. Say we keep this at sea level. That was awesome! Hey, Reg, hypothetical, you know, theoretical, totally what-if question here, but what would be the explanation for how I might be able to draw the power from some conduits, say, oh, I don't know, Hank, and not others, like one of these dupe troopers? Oh, my God, so you did try earlier. Hey, I'm not looking for an I told you so here, Reg. I'm just looking for an answer.
thought the dupes had those things locked down. And we have to keep going. Read you loud and clear. Don't push it. And next time, don't lie to me, okay? Trust your brother a little more than that, will you? stuff's even uglier from the inside. Looking forward to taking this stuff down. Hey there. It's Betty. Who are you? Oh, hi, Betty. I'm at the Space Needle. Oh, I'll, I'll try back later then. Bring me a postcard. <laughs> okay, if the gift shop's open. Bye, Betty. Bye-bye, dear. Aren't you a sight for sore eyes? This is more like it. I'm on the uh, observation deck. Don't let your guard down. Upward. Going. You're almost to the top. All right, time to gouge out the eye of the needle. And that must be what holds it all together. What the hell? Well, I haven't seen you before. Rex, man, they got a small army up here. Good. Things are in the right place. Or that they really don't like other people playing with their stuff. Come on, focus, Delson. Do you see any way to take down the communications? Yeah, yeah, there's this uh, anchor. Looks like it's holding all the antennas in place. I don't think this is gonna cut. Nothing bad ever came from getting new powers. Oh, 
This is going to be epic! See? That wasn't so bad. There. Isn't that better? away. Hello, Science Center District. I lost you. Do you read me? I'm getting nothing, sir. You? Nothing outside our immediate area. Yeah, Reg. Let's go find us some prime conduits and get some new powers. We own the streets! Take it easy. A few streets in the immediate vicinity, right? The DUP still owns the other 98%. But we kicked them off the Space Needle, man. You knocked out their comm center, okay? They may be deaf, but they're not dumb. Kicking the DUP completely out of Seattle is gonna take time. We just got here. You know what they say. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single kick-ass tag. Who says that? The Chinese people. Hey, Reg. Can you see it from down there? <laughs> Are you kidding? People in Portland can see it. I just want to let the dupes know I'm here, man. Who the hell is that? That's not one of the three who escaped. symbol supposed to mean? Not sure. The banner man got away before the Duke reinforcements got here. Delson, I've been asking around about the escaped bioterrorists. Do you think I maybe need like a PR guy? What, what the hell are you talking about? Uh, people here are starting to call me the banner man, which A, is unbelievably lame. Uh, maybe not the best idea you hanging around the Space Needle right now? Well, I mean, why not Smoketastic Man or, or hell, just the smoker? Look, I'll keep trying to get a lead on the escape bioterrorists. Why don't you see if you can disrupt other DUP operations around there until I get back to you?
man, a plan, and an aerosol can. Terrorists to escape from the bus crash. Fine, lay it on me. I'm still at the station. Not a great place to talk. Uh, I'll meet you at 4th and Vickers.
improvement. say about secondhand smoke. Banner man. <laughs> Pretty lame, right? Yeah, I just heard. And can we please not use the B word? What? Bioterrorist? Yeah. You know, that's just a slur invented by the DUP to make people scared of conduits, man. Look, whatever you want to call him, let's just track him down and find out what he can tell us about Augustine. And drain his powers. Okay, fine. And drain his powers. I'm telling you, it's going to work. All right. They've just found a body at Fifth and Briar. Go check it out. But promise me, you'll be inconspicuous. Yeah. I got it, I got it. I'll put my phasers on stun. Sir, this area is temporarily off limits. Okay, I need it your way. I'm past your boys in blue. Thank you. Although, what's the use of having smoke powers if you're not going to use them? Ah, there's my baby brother. Well, 
Found the victim. Definitely the work of a conduit. It's very showy. Okay, I need you to take a couple pictures of the crime scene and send them to me. Anything that might give us a lead. Okay, sending you the picture, but I think he blinked. There's your wounds. I wonder what kind of power did this? A fire blast or lasers? Ooh, what about flesh-eating death gaze? <laughs> I wouldn't mind absorbing a little flesh-eating death gaze, right? <sighs> Delson, even if the guy who did this is a prime conduit, we still don't know if this power transfer thing's even gonna work. Well, you know what? If it does, my first victim is gonna be the guy who came up with the name Banner Man. Bro, you really need to let that go. Uh, Reg, I'm hearing sirens, man. Yeah, let me check real quick. Yeah, the DUP's just cordoned off the area. I've warned the Seattle PD to stay away. It has to be the conduit. I'll check it out. <laughs> Reg, I got a convoy of dupes heading to the scene. Yeah, um, might want to steer clear of them? Chances are there's going to be a lot of DUP there. DUP well, that hit the with spot. shoot to kill orders. Wow. Well, hate to interrupt this little pep talk, but got any luck with that first victim on your face database thing? No, nothing. That must not have had a record. Huh. From the looks of the guy, I at least would have expected a drug bust or two. Jeez, you were right. The place is crawling with dupes. They really want to catch this guy. So their reputation's on the line here. Yeah, well, so is mine. No, it's get the conduit! Jeez, and good luck with that. Reg, I got a convoy of dupes heading to the scene. Yeah, um, might want to steer clear of them? Chances are there's going to be a lot of DUP there. DUP with shoot to kill orders. Wow. Well, hate to interrupt this little pep talk, but you got any luck with that first victim on your face database thing? No, nothing. The victim must not have had a record. Huh. From the looks of the guy, I at least would have expected a drug bust or two. Jeez, you were right. The place is crawling with dupes. They really want to catch this guy. So their reputation's on the line here. Yeah, well. No, it's get the conduit! Jeez, and good luck with that.
Chances are there's going to be a lot of DUP there. DUP with shoot to kill orders. Wow. Well, hate to interrupt this little pep news. You were right. The place is crawling with dupes. They really want to catch this guy. Another no, nothing. Yeah, well, well so is mine. <laughs> From the looks of the guy, I at least would have expected a drug bust or two. I can shoot missiles from my hands? Let's get the conduit! Jeez, and good luck with that.
Well, this conduit sure got a certain style. Kind of nouveau sick. Okay, I just need... Let me guess, face and wounds. If it's not too much trouble. All right, there you go. Stand by for wounds. No need. I got a hit on the face. The guy's a drug dealer. Rap sheet's a mile long. Look around for a stash. Might give us a clue why the sniper chose him. Our sniper going after him. Be careful. Real original advice. Wait, 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 wait. Don't impale me. I come in peace. It's okay. It's okay. I'm one of you. I mean, one of us. You. God, especially if you don't slow down. Stop! Come back! Nice meeting you. You get him? No, he ran fast, like, like really, really fast. Conduit fast, man. Screw flesh eating death gaze. I'm with that. Now don't be greedy. Funny thing, man, I, just before every shot, you could see the neon sign behind him dim a little. Uh, must be his power source. Uh, head back to the sign, see what you can find. You should see what this guy can do, man, like lasers or something. I'm telling you, it would be great to have a one-two punch like that and smoke when I get to Augustine. Take it easy. We've got to find him again first. All right, I'm here. Any idea what I should be looking for? Just anything that might help with who our sniper is. Well, one thing this place tells us is that our sniper is a sniperette. Wait, what? You should see this, Reg. It's like the girliest sniper's nest you've ever seen. What, what does that even mean? I, I don't know, it's just girled up, girl stuff, like, the name Brent burned into the wall in girly handwriting, and it is definitely the best-smelling assassin's den you could ever be in. Okay, look, just send me photos of anything you think might help. Okay, those definitely very likely belong to a woman. Like you know. Wonder who Brent is. I can't help you there. Like, seriously? A serial killer who reached Jane Eyre? Oh, totally. Jane Eyre is like the female catcher in the rye. shoes yeah they're like size negative so anything else interesting relax I'm looking I guess this counts as interesting
That's interesting, all right. You know, it's a long shot, but maybe if I run this through the database, cross-referencing the name Brent, good lucky. You know, if I had smoke and lasers, I could, like, put on light shows in our living room. Oh, that'd be putting your powers to good use. Hey, Reg, I was, uh, I was just thinking about the bras. Well, stop, okay? Seriously, just stop. Okay, I'm thinking, when I get to Augustine, it's gonna be like, whoom, smoke, and then once I got on the ropes, it's like, zap, zap, I'll whip out the laser show. Well, it's good to have a plan. Hey, I got a hit on the photo. Name's Brent Walker. One arrest two years ago for minor drug possession. Get this. Found dead two months later in an alley. Cause of death? A single puncture wound of unknown origin through the chest. I'm sending you the address now. Yeah, our girls definitely got a thing against drug dealers. <sighs> sure seems like it. It's weird though, man. If, if she's just killing drug dealers, then why do the news reports make it sound like she's picking off random victims like it could be anybody? Yeah? Well, you'd think the DUP would want people to know the killings weren't random. That if you're not a drug dealer, you're not in danger. That'd sure bring the panic level down. So you're saying what? The DUP is trying to scare people? I mean, their job is to control the panic. All right, I'm at the alley, but there's a bunch of heavily armed dudes here. I think a drug deal's going down. I hate to go all cop on you, but it is the duty of every citizen to step up when they witness a crime in progress. So now you do want me killing people with my powers? I didn't say kill them, just rough them up, scare them a little, and destroy their stash. Delson, I heard shots. D did you kill them? Hey, I was trying to do my duty as a citizen, man, but they were... At the alley, but there's a bunch of heavily armed dudes here. Looks like a drug deal's going down. I hate to go all cop on you, but it is the duty of every citizen to step up when they witness a crime in progress. So now you do want me killing people with my powers? I, Nelson, I heard shots. Did you kill them? Hey, I was trying to do my duty as a citizen, man, but they were trying to do their duty as criminals. Reg, you should see this, man. Speedy gone crazy is a tagger. She's a pretty damn good one, too. Yeah, well, don't forget she's a murderer, right? You gotta pretty admit, damn good girl makes a mean too. vortex. Okay, she's good. Hey, maybe when you drain her powers, you'll suck up a little bit of her talent, too. Ha <laughs> ha. Telling you, man, this is gonna work. You really shouldn't leave lit candles unattended. She sets a lovely altar. It's actually kind of touching. Yeah, well, 
Well, there's good touching and bad touching. And now we come to the highlight of the tour. Okay, so the girl stops off for takeout, comes here to sit with Neon Brent to tell him all about her day while she chowders down. You know, Olaf's has a location on Alaskan Way. He's supposed to have one of the biggest neon signs in the city. Hey, if I had neon powers and a chowder Jones, that's where I'd hang. I am on my way. was my fault. Hey, mister. Sign our petition to get drugs off the streets? Unless we stop this poison, more of our youth will turn out like Fetch Walker. Fetch Walker? Her body was corrupted by drugs, and the drugs turned her into a bioterrorist. We need your help to keep our streets clean of that kind of filth. Filth, huh? Hey, you're either fighting with us or against us. What's the name of that book? You know, the one that says, uh, let he who is without sin cast the first stone? Radical. Wow, I'm impressed with your impulse control. Um, but maybe you should wait up by the neon sign, yeah? I'd be less conspicuous that way. Besides, she'll probably head there to recharge. Yeah, plus there's probably less people I want to kick the crap out of up there. That too. 
It, it was the Bible. By the way, when I was quoting, it, it was the Bible, if you were, if you were wondering. I wasn't. Okay, just need a place to hide. Okay, this is good. Surveillance. Hobo style. Oh man, that smells good. Why didn't I take some cash off those dealers? Money, why do you hate me? Be my friend, Money. Come to me. Let's bond. It's okay! God! Ah, uh, not this again! Just like last time, Delson. Concentrate. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not getting away. I got this now. Just leave me alone! Oh, you can run up walls? <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. I just need 
one at a time? How's that fair? Too fast! You've got to calm down, all right? Just relax. You're not taking Just me wanna... back! I am not going back to Curtin K! Good news is, less juice for her. Bad news, I'm not a night person. DOP bastard! Well, maybe stop trying to kill me, and we can let the beer signs live to see another day. That was awesome. You listen to me? I'm not with Augustine. You one of a goddamn robot. How many times? Wait, are there really robots? I just want some of your powers. That's all. I know you're in there. Surprise me. Oh, I am so gonna use this! You can run, but you can't hide. Where the hell are you? I am not going back! No! I can hear you breathing! Wait, is that me?
As a little girl, I never thought it'd be me. That I'd be one of them. My powers were a surprise. My parents turned me in. They knew what the government would do to people like me, and they did it anyway. I didn't know what to do, but... My brother Brent just grabbed our coats, and we ran. Those were hard days on the street. Moving from city to city, no comfort anywhere. Until we met some dealers, and man, they hooked us up. The drugs. The drugs were heaven. But then we always wanted more. And withdrawal, agony. Always looking for a fix. And when you lose your stash, when you think someone stole it from you, the drugs, the dealers, they make you do things they... The government picked me up easy enough after that. But it wasn't a regular jail. They trained me to shoot, taught me how to kill. So on the day of the crash, I escaped with all those skills. Everything I needed to set things right. Brent, I promise. Every dealer I find, I'm gonna burn your name in their chest. No one else is gonna suffer like we did. No brother. Nobody else. <laughs> hey, Delson. Delson, you all right, brother? What happened? Oh, you did good. You did good, buddy. Come on. Get up. Get up. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> You did good. I know just where to put filth like this. Somewhere where Augustine won't find her, and she won't be hurting anybody else. Hey, no, 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 no. She's just killing drug dealers, man. Killing? Nelson, murdering drug dealers. What do you think I'm doing to the DUP? What you have to to save the Akomish back home. Yeah, she stays free. No. Dude, no way. Look, just because you have the same affliction, not gift, affliction. Doesn't mean that we're gonna pick up every little piece of trash we find. Look, I'm never going to abandon you, all right? Not ever. This one goes in a cage. Hey! It should be my responsibility. Yeah, because responsibility is not exactly something you excel at. I got this. Fine. I'm here for the tribe, not the Holland bioterrorists. I'm a conduit! He's cool. He's normally cool. He's just... not today. Yeah. Let's talk.
All right, Reg, sorry. I... Oh, look who it is. What, is the meeting of the Conduit Club finally over? I just wanted to talk to her, okay? To see if maybe she could help us out. Oh, you are not doing the pouting Reggie thing, are you? You know I hate that. You know someone like that shouldn't be free to roam the streets. Uh, are you forgetting who else is someone like that? Not the same. Different. Yes, I know. I'm your brother. And your brother is asking for your help and trying to stay alive. If you won't do it for me, then do it for the tribe. Fine. What do you need? Thank you. I need to see what else this new power can do, and you are my go-to guy when it comes to finding the core relays. There, I sent it. For the tribe and you. Thank you. I'll let you know what I get. No, I don't want to know what you get. Goodbye, pouting Reggie. Hey, Fetch, you know those glowing boxes the Dukes put up all over town? Yeah, I've seen them. I think they can track us with them. Well, I think I figured out a way to use them to, like, tap into more powers for me. I was gonna try it out on the new neon power you gave me. Gave you? And I thought maybe you'd like to tag along, you know, maybe talk me through the new stuff. I already bagged my dealer limit for the day, so why the hell not? What? And there's my sweet girl. Screw you. Okay, there's supposed to be one of those things at, uh, 2nd and Main. Yeah, I've seen it before. Meet you there.